Remember those times when we used to travel to all kinds of places inside or outside of our countries without any restrictions? Remember the airports full of people, really crowded, no place to sit down, long waiting lines to get your baggage, to check in at the counters? Those were the days, right? It's hard to believe that we are now actually trying to return to that normal. However, with the COVID pandemic still among us in by the end of 2020, is it possible that by 2021 we return to the normal of traveling? Here's a look of how travel will look like in 2021. I am Ivan and this is Travels 101. The first and most important thing you need to know about traveling in 2021 is that no one knows for sure how it will look like. You can see a lot of videos of people like me just wondering what it will be like or uh, even assuring that uh, traveling will be back to normal in 2021. And that's a mistake because we really don't know. Right now, with the COVID pandemic still among us and uh, no, no vaccines yet being distributed, it's really complicated to tell for sure how travel will look like in 2021. However, we know for sure that 2021 will not look like 2020, but it's still a mystery how that will look like. My advice for you is that you get vaccinated as soon as you can in your country when the vaccines are available. Get a really good travel insurance because you will need it more than ever and plan your travels on a short period of time. I used to get the best rates and the schedules when I was planning with a year of anticipation my travels, but uh, right now that is not a good idea because if the country you are planning to visit today is open, the, the frontiers are open, nothing guarantees that uh, it will remain open tomorrow or in six months, eight months, ten months when you are planning to travel. So be careful about that. Also, if you are planning to travel into a country that has had a lot of travel restrictions, you may want to consider that and be careful because you don't know if those strict travel restrictions will get back in the upcoming months. You have a very good chance to get stranded in that country and you don't want that because if you get stranded in a country that is not yours you will have a lot of expenses that you are not prepared to do. So be careful when planning your travels and remember this is not a very good time for you to plan way ahead. Plan your travels no more than three months ahead. The second thing you need to consider for traveling during 2021 is that local travel will increase and international travel will decrease still. Actually, right now, during 2020, you probably already traveled inside your country. That is because most of us were anxious to travel anywhere and we started by doing it inside our country. And that is okay. This is a good time for you to consider traveling inside your country or making or even making that travel that you have been planning for months or for years that you have not done inside your country because you were busy traveling outside. This is a trend that will most probably continue for at least for the first semester of 2021. The third thing you need to consider when traveling in 2021 is the hot destinations. Hot destinations will probably change during 2021 and those new hot destinations will be those that don't have a lot of travel restrictions. So forget about France, forget about Italy, forget about Spain. These countries have strong restrictions because of the COVID-19 and those restrictions are on and off. So you can expect that those countries will not be really hot destinations during 2021. Some other countries are still closed or they have mandatory quarantines for international travelers. There are also some other countries that um, ask you to have a negative COVID test. So these are all the things that you need to have in consideration when you are planning to travel internationally. And that will probably not change in 2021. Also keep in mind that these restrictions are different from depending on the country you are coming from. So be sure to check out which restrictions and which requirements you need in your country before you make any travel plans. Of course, we are still expecting in 2021 to have a lot of restrictions in the countries that you will be able to visit. So don't expect that everything is going to be normal and you will be able to move around. Uh, you will probably have some restrictions. You will have to respect social distancing in museums, in restaurants, at public places. So also keep in mind that this is something that will probably remain 
for the length of 2021. Be sure to check out my other videos about traveling during the pandemic. The next thing you can expect from traveling in 2021 is that business travel will decrease. Remember the movie Up in the Air where George Clooney traveled all around the United States uh, firing people while Anna Kendrick was a newcomer at the company trying to stop the, tr the traveling and start doing firing on video conferences? Well, 2020 has brought us to that reality and 2021 is not going to be any different. Right now, most companies prefer to have uh, video conferences rather than having their people traveling around the country or internationally. And also, video conferencing has been really a key for business, so this is a trend that will carry on through 2021. This may be a bad thing for those of us who did a lot of tr business travel, but actually it's also a very good thing. Not very good for us business travelers, but if you were one of those who had a ton of miles from your business travels, well, don't expect that during 2021 because you probably won't be traveling too much. So what to do? What I recommend you is just, you know, just be cautious. I know you're desperate to travel and all of us want to return to normal as soon as possible. But we are still living on uncertain times and we really don't know how COVID will affect us during 2021. The expectation is that it will be less complicated than 2020 and we will have vaccines. So the best thing you can do is not to rush to a travel plan that you won't be able to make further ahead. Or even worse, you could be doing a trip that could be dangerous for you or your loved ones and you don't want that. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't travel. I mean, be careful, check out the pros and cons of your trip or the, or the trip that you are planning to do. And if you decide that it travel is uh, right for you right now, so go ahead, do it, be cautious, be careful. And if you are planning to stay put and not travel right now, well, that's also not bad because you have still time to save more money and uh, wait for better times to do your next trip, probably by the end of 2021 or beginning of 2022. That's okay, because you will have a lot, of, a lot more money that you have been saving and that will get you a better trip than the one you were expecting. So don't rush into things. You will probably be able to do that travel to Australia, Canada, United States, Japan, Italy, Rome, sometime in the future. So tell me about your travel plans. Where are you planning to go in 2021? Do you already have a plan? Let's talk about your travel plans in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more travel videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time here at Travels 101.